This is the Miz again. <clears throat> and today's uh, tutorial will be uh, dedicated to my good buddy Han, who's over there in Switzerland, who I speak to just about every morning uh, on the internet. And he's uh, heavy duty into stock photography and uh, illustrator. And asked me how he could create the uh, platinum type or gold lettering that I've done on my credit card series recently. <clears throat> so. <clears throat> Without ado, further ado, let's go ahead and, and do that. And I've already uh, <clears throat> gone ahead and, and created the background for the uh, credit card. And I've already done uh, the uh, text. And I chose, uh, chose Times Roman for this because I find that the serif fonts works uh, a little bit better than the, uh, the non-serif fonts. The <clears throat> platinum here is the non-serif font. And uh, that's an aerial uh, font. And this uh, liquid gold is uh, times New Roman. So anyway, <clears throat> let's begin. First thing I need to do is I need to make a put a selection around the, uh, the lettering. So we're going to uh, click the, uh, the uh, text button there, icon. And next thing we're going to do is go into the channels and create a new channel. Now we're in the channels palette you'll see that I've created a new alpha channel, alpha 1. And I'm going to go ahead and fill that selection with white. So I've gone ahead and selected it with white. I'll deselect the text. And now I go up to filter, blur, and use Gaussian blur. Now, <clears throat> for this effect, we, we want to soften up the letters. We want them very, very soft, but still, um, still legible and, uh, and and readable just we're going to get this uh, I'm using oh let's try for this particular image which is only 800 pixels wide and I think I used a, a font that was 55 points so this this three uh, three uh, three pixels for the blur will do but you'll you can go ahead and experiment just see look what mine look like and and uh, try to emulate that so we'll go ahead and click OK mm. Now I'm going to go back into my layers palette, and, <clears throat> and uh, I'm going to be right back on my liquid gold text. <clears throat> now we're going to next thing we're going to do we're going to go into the uh, filters and we're going to use render uh, lighting effects. And the uh, we didn't rasterize the the the, uh, the font, but uh, when I go in to do the lighting effects. Uh, Photoshop's going to tell me that it's got to rasterize it first in order to, to use that filter. Is it okay? And I'll click okay. Now, there's the lighting effects. And let's, uh, let me adjust this. I got my lighting coming from the top going down. Um, and let me get this in just a little bit more. Okay. All right. Um, Right down at the bottom here, you see the texture channel. It says none. Well, we're going to use that alpha channel we created. And we're going to make that a little bit on the mountainous side. Can you see what it's done with the gold? It kind of embossed it. It, looks, it gave it that embossed effect. So we're just going to do... Uh, uh, I usually do this by experimenting. But uh, I think we'll be good just by doing it the way I'm doing it right here. I've got uh, metallic uh, on set on high, shiny, uh, and let's see, I just got to get the lighting just so right. I don't want it too bright, so it looks like that'll work right there. And, <clears throat> and that's what it's done to our text. You can see it right there. Now, we're not done here. Now we got to give it that chromed liquid effect. And the way I do that is I, I bring up my Curves dialog box. And what I'm going to do is what they call an M-shaped curve. An M-shaped is I'm going to create actually the letter M. So we're going to bring this one up right here. We're going to go over here. Let's see. Bring, 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 bring this down right about here. Come up here and go like that. Let's see. This one I don't need. Bring that down. Let's see what's doing to our our liquid gold here. 
Move this out of the way. All right. Now you begin to see what it's doing to our our uh, our text. And you can just play around with it, and experiment, and do everything, anything you else you want to do. Well, this looks good for me uh, for my purposes, and I'll click OK. Now, next thing I need to do is make it turn it into gold. So I'm going to bring up the uh, uh, U saturation, Control U, and I'm going to colorize this. And we're going to make this gold. So let's bring the saturation up a little bit here. And let's see. Just I'm going to play around with the best I can to make this look like it's gold. Okay. And that looks good right there. Now, <clears throat> what I also like to do is I add, like to add a drop shadow to it. That gives it a nice uh, effect. So I'm going to go into drop shadow. And let's see. Let's get up real close on this. <clears throat> okay. And uh, distance, too much. Yeah, let me just drag it to where I think I want it right Right about there. That looks good and play around with it. Alright, so this is the settings that I'm using for, for my, uh, I've got a distance of 6, spread is 0, and the size is 5. And I've got uh, an opacity of about 81%. So, there's our liquid gold, and we can do anything we want with it. Um, let's see. Uh, that's what we started with, and that's what we ended up with. And let me take you a little closer in there. Uh, this is only 800 pixels, so it looks a little pixelated, but you can get you can more or less tell by the effect of what it looks like. So that's it. This tutorial is done. Go out and try it yourself, and and uh, have fun. Bye bye.